We're here in Potsdam, a top-rated attraction in the city located just outside of the capital of Germany. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the Old Town, the picturesque Dutch Quarter, and of course the famous Sansui Palace and Garden Area. We've made it to one of the top attractions here in Potsdam, Sansusi Park, which is incredibly large, a World Heritage Site that was built in 1774 for the then King of Prussia to be able to have like a summer escape away from the hustle and bustle of Berlin. This place is massive and definitely worth a visit if you're coming to Potsdam. The only catch is about today is it's Monday and that happens to be the day that everything inside or indoors is closed, which is not a big deal because we ran into some locals who said that it's totally worth just visiting the gardens itself. So this is what we're going to do now. It is also said that this is styled after the gardens in Versailles, so definitely a beautiful place to visit. This stroller. One of the sure ways for Europeans to know if you're American is to wear a hat. So <laughs> no is in a cheetah hat a sun hat and I've got my adidas we've heard is the proper way to say it we grew up saying adidas but um, yeah that gives it away but these grounds really are astonishing really beautiful we've heard that if you don't want to wait in a super long line that you need to come early because this place gets crowded it is almost 10 and luckily not too crowded yet so tip for you come as early as possible let's go let's go let's go come on Oh yeah, here we go again. One more. Oh, we made it, okay. Langsam. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. We're gonna be running trail races one day. I know it. Willa, we're gonna do it. I literally always turn the camera to be like, are you so proud of her? <laughs> Everybody beat me to it. She absolutely loves to run. I could see LA in the way that you smile. I could see New York in the way you didn't care. And I could see Tokyo lights in the sky. This is apparently the place to come to work out. We've had so many people running. Obviously, Willa and Tanner have joined in on the fun, but I was kind of surprised by that. The grounds are just so massive here that, I mean, it kind of makes sense. I could see Scott thinking out in the back of me We lying on the chair We had our cake down table Mountain top with all our favorite takeout food Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? <laughs> Mommy? Here. <Ooh. laughs> Willa? That's probably true. We've been walking for the last hour or so in the park and it is very big, but it's incredibly beautiful. There's lots of shade even in a very sunny day like today. And it's just like a very picturesque area, a fun place to come. There's lots of people running, biking, just enjoying like picnics and stuff. Like we just mentioned, this place is vast and somehow we missed walking right by this place because we took a little detour to see the Chinese house, but wow, just again, these buildings are pretty impressive. And I could even see Scandinavia in the way your blonde hair felt past your neck. There were probably four other cars when we were here, when we first got here. And there might be four spots left that are open right now, so definitely come early if you can.
Well, after leaving the gardens, we made it here to the old town of Potsdam. And on the short drive from the palace to the old town area, it was fun looking outside the window and seeing the architecture. Coming from Berlin, things are looking quite different. And I gotta put a plug in. If you haven't seen our Berlin videos, be sure and check those out because we had a blast. Pretty cool, bam. Now it's a golden Elsa. Yes. Wow. We tasted some incredible food and honestly we learned a lot about the city and Germany in general so be sure and check out those videos. I never thought that I would have the experience to talk with someone who lived right next to the wall. Anyways, back to Potsdam, the architecture. As you can see behind me, I'm standing in front of a really cool tower, and this is the entrance into like the old town area, and it's really cool. There's a trolley that comes in and out of it, as well as I'm seeing people on bikes going underneath the tower. Seeing this tower is actually reminding me, we drove by the Brandenburg Gate, so apparently there's one here in Potsdam too, which is kind of fun, as it was just a couple days ago and we were standing in front of the Berlin one. Okay, enough talking. Let's Let's go and explore the Dutch Quarter as it is literally right across the street. The Dutch Quarter really is so picturesque and it reminds us of our time in Amsterdam and the Netherlands. We absolutely loved visiting and just seeing the red buildings and the architecture here is really fun. Takes us back. Also here in the Dutch Quarter is a super cute cafe that sells cheesecake. You know anything about me and Willa, let's be honest, Willa too. We love our sweets and we couldn't walk by without going in and getting some. I chose the creme brulee and Tanner chose the lemon one. So we ordered a to-go box and we're gonna try them after we get some lunch. We've stopped for lunch at Hair Dong, which is a Vietnamese restaurant, and we're really excited because the pictures and reviews online look really nice. We're actually located fairly close to the Brandenburg Gate, so that's fun because we've got a straight view of it. From the gate, there's a nice pedestrian alleyway that everyone can just walk, and there's a ton of restaurants located on both sides. Again, the architecture, I feel like that's kind of the main thing about this place is it's quite fancy. You can just like tell in the prices honestly compared to Berlin when we had Vietnamese food. This place is double the cost for one entree. We're not too crazy surprised by the prices just based on everything kind of around here in Potsdam. Okay, while we're waiting for our food to come, we are going to try out the cheesecake. Willa has the lemon one. Do you wanna try the creme brulee one? You're doing awesome. There's some lingering lemon on that, so I'm gonna have to get a pure, true second bite. But I did get the crispies on the top, and it was really fun. A nice texture. Oh, here's some lemon. Oh, it's really nice. I mean, I expected it to be nice, but when we were talking to the kind lady, she had said that the lemon was not too sour, but it's got more flavor than I expected, and it's a little more tart. I'm gonna have a bite of the creme brulee. When ordering, we asked for her recommendations, and she said that the creme brulee is a favorite amongst many and that it's also one of the sweetest ones. I'm actually surprised because I expected to like the creme brulee one better based on it being a little more sweet, but the lemon one wins it for me. The creme brulee is nice with the texture because of that top layer, but aside from that, it's fairly subtle and it doesn't have a lot of flavor. I would say it's just more of the original cheesecake flavor. Be sure to try them out if you come here. So we got our food here. We ordered some crispy duck with a little salad, rice, and some grilled vegetables on top of it. And then over here we got a glass noodle salad with some shredded lettuce and shrimp, rucola, and peanuts on top. A little mixture of everything together here. The duck is just really crispy on the outside. It's a nice flavor. It's not too like gamey, it's still hot. It's really good with that sauce inside. Well, we're ending out our time here in Potsdam. Albeit we didn't spend a ton of time here, we can see why Germans love to come to the city. Honestly, we are recommended this location by countless amount of people and we're happy we could finally come and see it for ourselves. If we had more time, we'd be sure to check out the lakes as well as the Russian Quarter here as that looks really cool. We're gonna head home though. We're not gonna be home for too long though. We're actually super excited for our next trip. We're taking it to the 
French Alps. We cannot wait. So it's going to be a blast. We are actually going to be camping, yes, in tents with a little baby and a toddler. So it's bound to be interesting and the views are going to be incredible. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for being here. Be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next video. And I could even see Scandinavia in the way of blonde hair felt past your neck.